Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Aviator Updates. This is Rakesh Nagy and I am an aviation enthusiast. Today we are going to discuss about the flight phases in Airbus 320. So let's start. So you should know friends, in Airbus C20 there are 10 flight phases. Okay, so those flight phases are suppose this flight phase number one. Okay. Suppose the aircraft is on ground, so on ground, initially when the aircraft is electrically powered, I am writing elect power, okay. So when the aircraft is electrically powered on ground, that time the phase is phase 1, okay. So you can see 1 here. Next, after this phase, okay, after phase 1 comes phase 2. When does the phase 2 start when the aircraft is on ground? It starts when you start any one of the engine or the first engine so when the first engine is started then the phase which starts is phase 2 so I'll just mark here first engine started okay that means friends when you start the first engine phase 2 starts so this is phase 2 so in phase 2 what all things you can do like I'm just talking about major things like you can do flight control check or you can you can do taxing like something called a single engine taxi so that is the phase 2 next when does the phase 3 start phase 3 starts when you apply when you have started the other engine also and you apply the takeoff power takeoff power which phase will start phase 3 so phase 3 starts Okay, so, in, so when does phase 3 start? It starts when takeoff power is applied. Next is up till when this phase 3 will continue? It's 80 knots. So on application of takeoff power, once you cross 80 knots, then you enter into phase 4. So I'll write here 4. So phase 4 starts from here, 80 knots. Okay, so this phase 4 it continues till you do lift off. So when you have done lift off, suppose here is phase 5 so here when you do lift off lift off so at lift off phase 5 will start so this is 5 okay so phase 5 has started at lift off so you lift off so this phase 5 continues till which point till 1500 feet 1500 feet so at 1500 feet we know when we'll take off ends so this flight phase number 5 is still 1500 feet so i'll draw a line here so till here is here 1500 feet when does phase 6 start so phase 6 it starts after 1500 feet so after 1500 feet what you will do is you will climb cruise descend all those are phase 6 so i'll write here 6 so you'll climb cruise and descend and then again when you hit 800 feet 800 feet and below okay so from this point onwards okay at 800 feet yes phase 7 starts so here is your phase 7 so phase 6 was from 1500 feet and above till climb cruise descent and you descend to 800 feet so at 800 feet your phase 6 end and phase 7 starts so phase 7, when does it end? It ends when you do touchdown. So you have descended and you have done touchdown. Suppose you have done touchdown here. So I'll write here touchdown, touchdown. So touchdown. So at touchdown, phase 7 ends. So now when does the next phase, that is phase 8 start? It starts at touchdown. So this is phase 8. So when does it end? It ends when you have done touchdown and you have the ground roll, that is the landing roll and your speed is reducing. You know when well, your speed is reducing. So when it hits 80 knot, so when your aircraft hits 80 knots, then phase 8 will end. Next, after this phase 8 ends, phase 9 will start. So phase 9 starts when your speed is below 80 knots, 9. So in phase 9, you will decelerate, you will stop the aircraft, you will do taxiing and come back to the bay and then you will shut down the engines and other things. So when you do the second engine shut down, second engine shut down yep 
yeah phase 10 will start okay so phase 9 it ends here when you have both the engines shut down so the second engine also has been shut down so now phase 10 will start okay again run on the ground and you can electrically power the aircraft okay so all these are the phases of airbus 320 so how many phases are there friends there are 10 phases i'll just summarize the topic phase one it starts when the aircraft is on the ground electrically powered and after this if you have started the engine then you enter into phase two in second phase you can do the flight control jack and taxi and other things single engine taxi and then you have started the other engine and you apply takeoff power you enter into phase three on application of takeoff power obviously your speed the aircraft will start moving ahead and once your speed hits 80 knots and above you enter into phase four and from that point onwards if you keep on going ahead at the moment your aircraft lift off lift off means the moment your aircraft tires leave the ground then you enter into phase five okay and phase five till when does it continue it continues till 1500 feet so you have done phase five and 1500 feet above 1500 feet it starts here phase six so above 1500 feet your phase six has started and then for the flight on cruise descent i think you'll be in phase six only when you will be descending and you will be hitting 800 feet then start your phase 7 so phase 7 starts at 800 feet you can see here friend phase 7 starts and after phase 7 when you have done touchdown phase 7 from phase 7 you will go, you will go to phase 8 and phase 8 that means phase 8 starts at touchdown and it continues till the aircraft speed is getting reduced and it goes below 80 knots so once your aircraft it's this speed value, reduced speed value and below, that is 80 knots and below. At 80 knots, phase 9 will start and below this you can decelerate and stop the aircraft taxiing and come back to the bay and then this ends here, phase 9. And after this, when you do the second engine shutdown or the last engine shutdown, then start your phase 10. When you are on the ground and in the bay, you have parked the aircraft and you can power the aircraft. So I hope you are clear with the flight phases. So I hope you are clear with these flight phases. Remember that friends, these 10 flight phases, they are independent and different from the flight phases which the FMGC, that is the flight management guidance computer uses. Okay, so I'll talk about the flight phases which are used by the FMGC in my next session. Till then you enjoy learning this and thank you.